What's going on, YouTube family? Um, real quick, I thought this would be a good video. Um, yeah, I got my headlight on. Uh, we have good good lighting in the shop. Well, obviously that one is out. I gotta get that replaced. Dang, just noticed that. But um, anyway, uh, when it comes to detailing, you know, and offering your services, you wanna, you know, kind of do the best you can and. The owner of the car may know or may not know the full capacity of their car. And by that, I mean like what compartments and component goes like into that specific car that they have. So right here, we have this Honda Santa Fe. And by that, I mean uh, one of my guys is detailing that. Uh, even though we have good lights, you can never have too many lights, too many bright lights inside your garage you know to make it seeable you know i have good eyes you know other people might not have good eyes anyway back to the point is um i'm definitely going to be dropping a course hopefully soon i'm working on i've been super busy but um in that course it's going to be real real detailed i'm not going to tell you guys how much it's going to cost but you guys are going to I'm going to drop some gems for sure that, uh, you know, get you customers and recurring customers on top of that. But uh, anyway, in that course, I'm going to teach you um, why you should at least, you know, touch or pull or tug, you know, take what I'm saying lightly, but touch, pull or tug any levers if you're doing a full detail or a full interior detail. So I'm going to flip you guys around and show you guys what I mean. So, my guy's doing this car or whatnot. It's a little, it's dirty, you know. Let me turn on my headlight so you guys can see. It's a little dirty. And obviously he rolled the seats up, got the tracks clean. Got the tracks clean over here, clean these tracks. But when you see uh, these tracks right here, if you can see that, where they're like, it's on the back seat and there's no other way. Sometimes they would have this lever right here. If you can see that. And I always say, pull that. And sometimes it'll have this lever and then it'll also have a lever in the front where you can slide this whole back seat up. Now on this Santa Fe, it doesn't. So my guy's like, well, how do I get back there? Cause you can see up under the seat right here and there's all stuff. If you guys can see that, if I'm catching that on camera. So it's all stuff up under. He's like, how am I gonna get up under there? So I'm telling him, just pull the seat, you know, and you'll you'll get, you'll be able to get to it and see what's back there. So when you pull this seat, you'll see that there's a little crack, a little crease right there with all the stuff. He's like, well, how do you get back there? Do I just put the uh, put the air compressor back there and just blow? I'm like, this is how you get back there. So I tell him, you know, pull this latch, drop the seat like so. Obviously, we're going to have to get in here and touch some of this stuff up. But let me turn this off. Um, So... I was like, you pull up these compartments. Now when you're doing full detail, you could probably charge a little more for going back here. Like obviously the trunk is in it, in the full detail, but you can charge more if you want to lift up this part right here, get up under, you know, kind of clean it, clean out this little gutter system. But you also got to be aware of like, if your customer knows your car better than you do. As a detailer, you want to know the car better than the customer if you get what I'm saying. Obviously you're not gonna experience every car or get every car style in your shop or in your mobile business. But when you get a quote, when you push somebody a quote and then you um, you give somebody a quote, I mean, and you have never done that car before, I would suggest going to go Google the car and you know see what kind of specs are in the car. And by that, I mean, this Santa Fe, there's kind of a hidden compartment. It's not really hidden because there's a latch right here for you to pull. 
but when you pull this latch, it, it opens up to a bigger gutter. So you have a bigger storage unit. But my guy has a problem getting behind this seat. This storage unit comes out. Now your car owner might not even know they have that back there or you know, know that they have that, but they don't know that that gutter system comes out itself. So all you gotta do is just pull it out. Try to do this one hand. <sighs> all right, there we go. Gutter system comes out, right? Now let's go back. Let's go back here. Boom. Now we have access to behind the seat. Yep. And now we have all this, this dirt to clean up. See all that? Wood, everything. I'm not sure how this got up under the gutter system, but or the storage compartment, whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure how all this debris got back here, but now we have access to a bunch of the seat without it being able to move forward. So just wanted to drop that quick gem on you guys. And that's the kind of stuff like in detail, this is kind of like a little snippet of what I'll be putting in my course. And I will definitely let you guys know when I drop it. It'll definitely be a cool little video on it. Um, yeah, just wanted to make this quick video for you guys and show you guys kind of how um, how some detailers get recurring customers and some detailers get customers that they will never see again. But um, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, you know, subscribe, share it. If you're cleaning your own car, you know, and you don't know how, oh, what kind of specs your car has, Definitely go around your car, start pulling and tucking on stuff and see, you know, kind of what the dirt is if you like to keep your car clean. Or if you like to go to a professional, definitely make sure you're a professional, wherever you are, the professional detailer is doing these types of things because this is crucial to you spending your hard earned money. You want to definitely give that value back as a detailer and get that value as a customer. So. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Comment in the section below if you got anything, any questions. Like I said, I'll be dropping a course soon. And, you know, have a good Sunday, guys.